uh, for our pastor, Angel Burnett. Pastor Angel Barnett is a, past, is a passionate follower of Christ with a heart for the least of these. Over the past 26 years, she and her husband, Luke Barnett, have led churches with an emphasis of kingdom and has always ministered in places such as Russia, Indiana, Haiti, and South America. Since 2011, Luke and Angel have pastored Dream City Church. Thank wow. You. What an, thank you for that introduction. Uh, I'm so honored and humbled to be with you all. Um, committee directors, thank you for your hospitality, hosting me. Uh, Dr. Mark, your kind words, so impressed by your organization, that amazing song, Everyone's Call to Excellence and Action is very evident. So I'm honored to be amongst a consortium of movers and shakers. I know it and can feel it. So thank you for my time to share. I am honored. I'm uh, going to share to you uh, with you today about being a difference maker. The daughter-in-law of Tommy Barnett and the wife of Luke Barnett, who's Tommy's son, has recently appeared with the Antichrist cult leaders organization, ACLC, Women in Ministry, where she was a speaker for them. Now, in case you don't know, the cult was founded by Sun Myung Moon, and it was refer has been referred to as the Moonies, or the Unification Church, and his wife is Hak Jahan Moon, who is still alive, and they claimed that her husband, Mr. Moon, was the Messiah, and that Jesus was a failure, so they had to come to earth and finish the job that Jesus didn't finish. Also, Mrs. Moon claims to be the only begotten daughter of God, and she is now recruiting pastors and Christian leaders in the United States of America to join her organization and to tell people who she is. Other notable people that have joined Mrs. Moon in the past are Donald Trump, who has been a speaker via video for her and praises Mrs. Moon, and he was paid over $2 million for his appearances. Also, his so-called spiritual advisor, Paula White, who has been a speaker for Mrs. Moon many times and also claims that Mrs. Moon is a Christian who loves the Lord. So, the Bible says to know those who labor among you and to mark them that cause divisions and spread a false gospel and a, and a false Jesus. You might ask, what is the ACLC? It is the American Clergy Leadership Conference. Angel should be careful about who she speaks for and who she represents. I'm going to leave a link in the description below and you can see her video on YouTube where you see her speaking for this group. I also will, will put some videos in here of Mrs. Moon saying she's the only begotten daughter of God and also of Paula White saying Mrs. Moon is a Christian who loves the Lord. It, it's baffling, isn't it, that these people are re supposedly representing Christi Christianity and yet they're doing these kind of things on the side? Why aren't more people speaking out about this? It's very alarming. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll post after I post this video up on YouTube. And also you can email me, Susan at propheticnews.com. It is a sign of the times the times we're living in now, where people that call themselves Christians and 
Christian leaders are going to speak for an Antichrist figure like Mrs. Moon, who claims that she's the Holy Spirit and that she's God. We need peace, it's unity, very, and stability very shocking. to the Korean Peninsula. We need peninsula. to make more people aware of I this. I enjoyed speaking with the World Summit last February, repent. very much so. And I want to thank the Universal Peace Federation for hosting this wonderful event. In particular, let me express my gratitude to Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, for her incredible efforts on behalf of peace all over the world. She is an amazing and wonderful woman. Her personal story of escaping from North Korea at five years old is a true inspiration, and her dream that one day harmony will be restored to the Korean Peninsula is a hope we all share. I have heard about the outstanding work you're doing through Pastor Paula White, and I am confident... In counsel from Jezebel... is delusional here and family by the love of jesus and the healing power of god we believe for all faiths and political leaders together with mother moon to unite for reconciliation because she has a shared agape god love chairman kim has invited her to come to the north and mother moon i pray that when you go i will go with you let us pray Thank you very much. Everyone, kindly take your seats. Beloved, peace-loving leaders bless families from around the world. Today, we are now celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Holy Ascension, and we now have a special Hyojung performance that traces back the life of Father Moon through the theme of the journey. It is the journey of God trying to save his long-lost children. It is also the journey to realizing a world of lasting peace. God sent his only begotten son and daughter on this earth as true parents, and they've walked a path of thorns filled with blood, sweat, and tears. Their entire life has been characterized by going to the humblest of places. Despite criticism despite misunderstanding they embraced others they lived lives of true love 짧은 시간에 하늘 섭리를 다 말할 수는 없지만 하늘은 오랜 시간 동안 기다리고 기다리며 참아 나오신 그 기다림의 결실은 타락한 인간 가운데서 하늘을 부모로 섬길 수 있는 그런 중심적 책임자 한 남자와 한 여자 다시 말해서 타락한 세계 인류를 구원할 수 있는 참 부모가 탄생되기를 기다려 나오셨습니다. God's children. 그렇습니다. Yes, indeed. The completion of the providence will take place through the only begotten daughter, the mother of peace, the only begotten daughter. Does this cause you to shudder? It should. Because who will be the main deceivers in the end time? So-called Christian leaders. The Antichrist will use Christian magazines and churches to deceive people if we don't know those who labor among us. First, 
Thessalonians 5, 3 says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. We are in perilous times. And if your pastor or so-called Christian magazine or Christian television networks like Daystar promote someone like Paula White, after you've seen this, I don't know what's going to happen to these people in the end if they don't repent. And also the Barnett family. Angel does not need this platform from Mrs. Moon. Why she did this, they probably gave her a big paycheck, which they normally do. That's how they trap these people to speak for them. They pay them big money. But anyway, we need to be sober. We need to be vigilant because the devil as a roaring lion walks around seeking whom he may devour. God bless everybody. Let's cry aloud and spare not. Amen. 인류를 선도하는 데 있어서 중심 역할을 해야 할 기독교 성직자가 책임을 할 때이기 때문에 내가 오늘 나서게 된 것입니다. 기독교의 성직자 여러분들은 성직자로서 끝나서는 안 됩니다. 창조주 하늘 부모님의 아들 딸로서 환경권을 넓히며 지상에 참 부모와 함께 하늘 부모님을 모실 수 있는 환경권을 넓혀야 할 때임을 알아야 합니다. 그리하려면 내가 누구인지를 밝혀야 합니다. There is a great light still shining and it is a great honor to stand with people like Dr. Moon and with this federation. It is this deep conviction for standing for freedom of religion that has driven my life work for 38 years now. I want to honor specifically and encourage Mother Moon. I have such a deep respect for her, for her great work as a spiritual leader and as a mother of peace who loves the Lord and seeks to bring comfort to God's heart and to all those that are under this duress and distress around the world. Mother Moon, your faith and courage, because it does take courage. The Bible tells us that the 